Today I'm going to show you a new way to use GuitarML models, and it's called BYOD. Now, BYOD is not a GuitarML plugin. It's made by Chow DSP, and you are going to want to check this one out because it is amazing. Now, BYOD stands for Build Your Own Distortion, and it does just about everything. Now, to get this, you're going to want to go to chowdsp.com. Uh, and go to the nightly builds because that's going to contain the latest and greatest that has the ability to load guitar ML models, specifically the guitar ML models for Proteus. Now when you first load BYOD, you're going to have your input meter and your output meter and a wire connecting them. And that does just what you think it would do. And this space in the middle, that's where you're going to add all these modules and basically build your own sound in any way you can think of. But what I'm here to show you today is the Guitar ML module because it now has the ability to load uh, custom models. So by default, you will have the Blues Junior, the TS9, and the Mezza Mini Rectifier. And these are condition models, so it is actually modeling the full range of a particular knob of that amp. Now the new feature is this custom, where you can go in and load uh, guitar ML models for the Proteus plugin. And a quick way to get to that uh, the tone library where you can download them is you click this gear icon click download more models and that will take you directly to the Proteus uh, tone library and then you can click download all to download a zip file of all of my available models so back in the BYOD plugin you can go to custom and navigate to your Proteus tones that you download and you can load any of these, the conditioned or the snapshot models. So I'm gonna just pick the Black Star. And this will be saved in your session if you leave. And um, if you switch out of this custom model, then you will go back uh, to custom to load a new one. Um, now on top of this, you can add, let's see, we'll just add an IR. And you can also load custom IRs with this module. So that's, that's awesome by itself. Uh, now I'm just going to show you a couple of the other features that it can do. Um, it has oversampling. It has a wet-dry mixer, uh, input and output levels, mono, stereo controls. And my favorite thing is this uh, preset manager, which is very intuitive to use. Now you can make your own presets or uh, load the ones that it comes with. And I'm just going to try out a few of these right here. So we got uh, Black Sabbath. And you can just scroll through these presets, it looks like, with these arrow buttons. Jimi Hendrix. John Mayer. Johnny Greenwood, Neil Young, Nirvana. We got White Stripes. And then I made one 
that's basically uh, my pedal board. I have a compressor, distortion, tremolo, delay, and then the amp, which is the Guitar ML Blues Junior model, and uh, impulse response, followed by some EQ controls and a reverb. And then I'll turn on, I'll just turn on everything. Got the compressor, tremolo, delay on. Very cool. And let's see. Oh, this is one that my son made. Very ethereal. I can't overstate just how much stuff is in this plugin. It's ridiculous. You really, you don't need anything else. Why it has so much stuff? Um, let's see. I'll just go through a few of these. Under Drive, you have a ton of distortion pedals, um, the guitar mo modules in there, uh, some amplifier emulations. Under Tone, you have IR, uh, various EQ, uh, Lo-fi IR. I'm going to have to try that. Uh, under modulation, you have chorus, flanger, panner, phasers, rotary, tremolo. Uh, utility, you have, uh, looks like some some mixing blocks and uh, various items. Oh, a tuner. That's helpful. Thank you. I will take that. Um, under other, we have compressor, delay, envelope filter, gate, octaver, and a couple different reverbs. There's just, there's so much stuff. And I just noticed this in the new version that there, you can buy some add-on modules. So, oh, by the way, this whole thing's free, which is crazy, but um, you can buy some add-on modules. So I, I'm definitely going to try those out. Now, I'm going to be playing around with this for months and months. And I am just thrilled that uh, Guitar ML can be a part of it in a small way. So I'm just going to build some stuff and, and do some experimenting. So download this, try it out, use it with Guitar ML models, and build your own distortion. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.